Hello and welcome to my tutorial. Mr.NET is here. Today I explain the mock patcher object and why we can use the patcher object. For example, I have here a script and this script has a function and I replace this OS module with a mock object. That's pretty easy. I create here script.os is a mock. And now I call the function in my script. And I use an assertion assert equal. So I get the object of my function of my operating system module as string. So this is not a problem, it is clear and but what is when I take a second test function and in this test function I didn't use a mock object. So if I start here this test all tests will be run because the OS module in my script is always a mock object. So if I delete the first test method and have only this method, I start my tests and we see that the object is a list and not a mock object. So the problem is that in this test I set the OS module to a mock object and the second test calls also the same function so we call the OS module and this is a mock object so what I can do I can for example say that the script OS is a imported OS in my test module this would be work but the problem is for example I have here a assertion assert true and for any reason this assertion failed. So if I now start the test, we see both tests failed because in this line the test stopped because this line fails so this line will not be called. So the mock object or the OS module in my script it is always a mock object so I need another way to activate and deactivate a mock object and for this I can use the patcher so for example I separate here my test classes and call my class collection 2 and the first class is the collection one. So now I have here below two test classes and I can define for my test class collection one a setup function. And in this setup function 
I can define my mock object. So I delete this mock object here, I delete this line, and I instantiate a patcher with the mock module and the function patch. And the argument what I need for the patch function is the object or the property what we want to mock. In my case, this is this mock script free. This is my script here and the OS module. The next step is to to define a mock object that's a property because when I call the function self patcher dot start this function returns a mock object so for example I can use here this mock object to define return values or side effects but for this case I didn't need it so if I start my test nope, this test is always false We see that the patcher returns a magic mock, not a mock object. I can start the test. And we see that in this test the result is also a magic mock. So now I can use the teardown. To turn off my mock object, I can call this self patcher and call the method stop. So now, if I start my tests, we see the second test returns a list because the mock object isn't activated. But the problem with teardown is in this case when the first test failed the second test will be fine because the teardown is always called but if the setup has a failure like rise exception So I have here a failure in the setup, the teardown will not called. So we see the second test also failed. So for that we don't use the teardown, we use a cleanup method. Add cleanup and in this cleanup can use the self patcher stop as an argument without the brackets and the add cleanup will be called after the tests and after the teardown. It will be also called if the setup failed. So for example I start the test and we see the second test work and the first test does not work because the setup failed for this test. The cleanup is called because my function here use the script OS module and this is not a mock object, it is a list. And this this cleanup and this cleanup and the setup works so I can use so we can use it to turn on and turn off our mock objects and we can 
encapsulate the unit tests or the mock object for the unit tests in separate test collections. So for that we can use the patch object. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If I forgot something, please write this into the comments. And hopefully I see you in the next video. Bye.